Hey guys, what's going on? This is J Games, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Knight's Edge. So, with Knight, the Knight's Edge is uh, the probably the best pre-hard mode uh, sword. So, before you fight the Well Flesh, if you want the best sword for it or whatever, um, it's probably this one right here. So, this sword you need four other swords to craft it. You need the Fiery Gray Sword, the Muramasa. Uh, the blade of grass, and then either the knight, the light bane, or the blood butcher. Now, if you're getting the light bane, you're gonna have a, you're going to have a corruption world, and the corruption world is a purple biome. There's a purple biome in your world. If I can scroll right here, it'll kind of look like this, but you know, not pixelated and stuff. I'm in the map right now. Um, but if you are in a crimson world, it'll be red. Um, in an area of your map, and you can go there. Uh, you do need to craft it out of multiple things, so I'm going to tell you guys how to do that. And it's going to be pretty lit. Alright, so we're going to start with the Fiery Great Sword, which is probably the second best pre hard mode sword. And it's not that hard to get. Um, but it does take time to get it. Like, if you just got the game, it's going to take you a while to get it. Um, but the Fire Grey Sword, okay, let's get right to it. So the Fire Grey Sword is crafted from Hellstone Bars. And to craft Hellstone, Hellstone Bars, you need a Hellstone Forge. And you get a Hellstone Forge in Hell. And the Underground, if you dig all the way down, as far as you can, um, there will be a little Hell Biome. So if you just go down here in the area of the map, I haven't been down there with this character, so you can't see it. It's really, it's red and orange, and there's lava everywhere. It's really easy to tell. Um, I probably put some on the screen for you guys to look at. Um, and that's how you get it. Uh, you get, uh, you you mine Hellstone with a demonite pickaxe or better. And it, when you mine the brick, when you mine Hellstone ore, it will drop lava. So you want to be watch out for that. Uh, but yeah. You do need 20 hellstone bars to craft this, and you craft it at a lead or iron anvil. And that's the fire grey sword, so... Uh, it's pretty good. Let's move on next to the Muramasa. So the Muramasa is pretty easy to get. All you do is need to kill Skeletron, and you pretty much have it. So after you kill Skeletron at night, or whatever, uh, it's very easy to get the Muramasa. So, the Muramasa, <sighs> how you craft it, you don't craft it, you find it in the dungeon. So after you defeat Skeletron, you want to go in the dungeon, and there will be these gold chests, and then these gold chests will be locked, but you need to go kill these mother slimes inside the dungeon, they will drop gold keys, and you can unlock these gold chests, and... Uh, not every chest has one, so you might have to open multiple chests. But you will eventually get a Muramasa sword, which looks like a lightsaber, kinda. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the Blade of Grass. This is probably the hardest one to get, in my opinion. Um, but the Blade of Grass, which you need. How you craft this? You craft it. Okay, so the Blade of Grass, it's a huge sword. You go to the jungle to, cra to get the resources. And what you need to do, you need to go to the underground jungle and get jungle spores and stingers. And how you get stingers, you kill the hornets. Uh, and then jungle spores is a plant, so you, you just want to uh, break plants and you'll just get them. Um, I'm I mean, that's my best tip. They're these glowing green things, so they're pretty easy to tell them apart from the other ones, kind of. But honestly, if you just break plants, you're going to get them. And you do need... How many do you need? You need 12 singers and 12 jungle spores to craft this sword. And you craft it at an iron anvil. All these you crafted at, at an iron anvil so far. And now we're moving on to the optional sword. So like I said, Blood Butcher is on a Crimson World. And l the Light's Bane is on a Corruption World. Blood Butcher, Crimson, Light's Bane, on Corruption. So, so we're going to go on to the Blood Butcher. 
Um, you craft it out of crimsonite, crim in tight, and crimentine bars, crimentine. And you cr you need to get ten of those. Craft them at an anvil, and boom, blood butcher you have. So the easiest way I think to get this is to craft uh, the summoning for the Ith Cthulhu. Um, and after you kill him, he'll drop ores for uh, that are uh, crimentite. And you can craft the crimentite bars, and then after you get your ten, you can craft your sword. So that is the one option you can use, or you can use the light bane, which is on a corruption world, which is the purple. The light bane is pretty much the same thing, same technique. Kill the eye. Um, and how you craft that? I did not say this. It's three lenses at a demon altar, and the demon altar. Or uh, Crementine Altar, I believe that's what the other one's called. They're in their biomes. They're these little, like, things that you can't break, and if you try to, they hurt you. Um, well, I believe if you hit them with a hammer, they'll hurt you. I don't know about a big X. But you just craft it at those. Um, and then you, uh... Yeah, what was I going with that? So... Oh yeah, you use the lenses on the altar, and then it crafts the Ith Cthulhu boss spawn. So at night time, I'd recommend farming the little eyes that fly around, and getting their lenses. Um, and then you just need 10 Demonite bars, add an iron or lead anvil, like all the other ones, and craft it. So now, when you have one of these sets of swords, you can now craft... The Knight's Edge, and you craft the Knight's Edge at a Demon sla slash Crimson Altar. So you just go to an altar with all these swords, and it crafts the Knight's Edge, and it's a pretty lit. Um, and if you guys want to know how to craft the True Knight's Edge, uh, tell me below in the comments. Uh, hopefully this helped you. Uh, the sword is a fun one to craft. Because it just you have to get other swords and you craft those swords together. There really isn't another sword like this. Technically yes, but technically no, there is, um, in my opinion. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, hope you guys see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, like that, all that stuff. Request for use down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.